Hi, my name is Diane and I thought I would take this opportunity to let you know a little bit about me. So who I am is Diane. I'm Bad Bunny. Look. So I thought I'd start by telling you a little bit about myself. My name is Diane Hedgenicki. I'm in my late 40s. I'm married. I have three beautiful children. Uh, my oldest is Heaven. She is the mother of two beautiful grandsons. The middle child is Jasmine. She has been a joy. My youngest, she's my helper with all things th this channel related. Uh, her, she's behind the camera right now. Uh, that's Rune. My goal has always been to create. And lately, my goal has been to use creation to help other people find joy in their lives. I grew up in a little town called Monroe. Uh, in Michigan, and it is the home of quite a few very interesting and very creative and very successful people. It is the home of Lazy Boy Furniture. Uh, we have Olympic athletes, we have international music producers, we have General George Custer, and we have a Miss America, all from my hometown. Um, back in high school, part of the Monroe Trojans, I was in band. I was part of the color guard, which for those of you who don't know, uh, we twirl or spin flags, sabers, and uh, wooden rifles. I was also in choir for all of my years of high school, which was a blast. I was also a creative writer. I have published poetry. I haven't written in a long time, but it is definitely still something that is on my bucket list. As a creative person, I've always had a desire to make things. Um, I've done, I've dabbled in a lot of different types of art. I've never been really, really good at hand drawing anything. I have dabbled in finger painting and other forms of abstract art. And even for a while, I worked as a fiber artist using wool felted into fabric that could be crafted into different forms of art or even clothing. Uh, I've always been a creative person. I want to tell you a little bit about what I've gone through the last few years. Um, up until 2017, I weighed in excess of 300 pounds. In 2017, I decided to do a major life change and have weight loss surgery. I've lost over 120 pounds and am very, very, very happy with, with my results so far. It, it's given me a whole new outlook giving me back my confidence it's it's it helped me find joy again my weight loss has been stalled for almost a year now because i actually lost the first hundred pounds within the first year my weight loss stalled probably about a year ago when i started having um, unexplained pain i still don't know what caused the pain i am receiving treatment for a condition that is very rare that has to do with my liver that caused me to have extremely elevated liver enzymes. I am relatively pain-free currently and very well and very happy with that. However, at my darkest point, I had nearly given up. I had I had so much pain that I was bedridden. I couldn't get up, I couldn't move. I was miserable. I I didn't want to be around anymore. While I was bedridden, I would watch movies, Netflix, you know, Hulu, that kind of thing. And I would spend a lot of time on YouTube. While I was browsing through YouTube, I'd always seen the videos of the river tables and just absolutely thought they were the most stunning thing ever. Well, watching the creation of those river tables brought me to Stone Coat Countertop's YouTube channel. I started watching their YouTube channel and that really got me interested in resin. And as my interest in resin expanded, I found uh, Artist Till Death, Erica and Jeff. And between those two channels, I found a reason to keep going. At first, it was just the, the simple entertainment and joy that they both, both channels expressed in the creation of their art. And, and definitely, I would definitely consider what Stone Coat does as art. What they have created, the product they have created, and the products that their product have created are just simply amazing. And they have really inspired me. So I decided to jump in. I didn't start with Stone Coat. I started with uh, epoxy that I could get my hands on immediately. And 
about a year ago, I made my first ever piece. Um, I hadn't decided if it was going to become a habit, a hobby, a career, an interest. I had no idea, but it definitely, it definitely moved me. It created in me a sense of purpose and joy, and I fell in love. So when I decided that I wanted to start doing it more often and make it more of more than just an occasional thing I did in the background and why I wanted to start making these videos is because I wanted to share the joy that creating art has given me. Um, my, my channel name is, is a reflection of who I am. My husband's always called me Bunny. It, it's just who I've always been. I call him Teddy, he calls me Bunny. It's a couple thing. Um, Bad Bunny came around because as a child of the 80s, I was a fan of Michael Jackson and his song Bad. And so for me, Bad Bunny just means one badass bunny. And that's who I am. I am a badass bunny who has survived a lot to get where I'm at. And I won't let anything stand in my way whether it is all the fails that I have when I'm trying to create art. And trust me, you will see a bunch of those. I've got a couple of videos that are gonna knock your socks off with how bad I fail. And then I have some beautiful pieces that I am absolutely in love with and I have some successes, but either way, I'm a badass bunny. And since I don't wanna swear in my channel name, I just shortened it to bad bunny. So my tagline is making art fun by creating joy every day. And you've probably seen that on my videos. Um, the reason that I've chosen that is because this, because art is joy and life should be full of joy. And so for, for so many of us, life isn't full of joy and we need outlets and inspiration and reasons to find joy. Um, I hope that whether my video is a fail video or a success video, that it inspires you to get up there and try, even if you fall miserably on your face like I do. It doesn't mean that you can't find joy. Joy is more than being happy. Joy is a sense of purpose and contentedness in whatever situation you find yourself in. So many of us are struggling with depression and anxiety and troubles in our relationships or financial troubles or we just simply don't know what we're doing here and what we're supposed to be doing here. Well, for me, my family has always been my number one priority and it will continue to be my number one priority even as I make these videos and even as I learn to grow and accept who I am, what I am and where I'm going. Um, my daughter, one of my daughters, suffers from severe anxiety and depression and Part of what I hope to do with my channel is to give us each an outlet for our stress. Creating art can be very stressful, as we all know. If you've, anytime you create anything, you're putting some of yourself into it. And I hope to be able to take my anxiety and my stress and, and my own personal depression and funnel it down through the pigments and through the resin onto a canvas or into a piece of art and put it out there, get it outside of myself. Um, you will find that I will be creating um, some videos that focus on color because color is something that can inspire emotion. It can help you feel a feeling that you're not sure how to identify. It can help you work through uh, those moments of tension and anxiety and bring you a sense of peace. Um, I will be creating videos that help identify what colors will bring on specific emotions. I will help use these video. I will, I, well, I hope that these videos will inspire other people to create art. Art can be anything. Art can be flower arranging. It can be coloring on the sidewalk with chalk. It can be anything that we want it to be. Art can be telling a joke and making someone else laugh. Art can be the whispered words of I love you. 
can inspire someone to feel joy and is part of creation. Obviously, you can't whisper I love you into a painting, but you can express those feelings through resin art and through other types of art and through painting. So that is what you will see for me. If you have any questions or if there's a type of painting or a specific color that you'd like to see me work with or an idea that you would like me to talk about or if you want to know more about me or my family or where you can get my art, uh, leave me a question or write a comment in the comment section below and I will respond. I personally will be there with an excitement to share what it is that I know and, and what I've learned and hopefully to help you build relationships with other people who feel the same way you do or share some of the same experiences you do. The art community is extremely vast, full of people who experience all different kinds of things. And trust me, the art community that I belong to is not full of a bunch of art snobs. We are not snobs. We are very welcoming, we are very open, and we we want to see you as part of our family. Check out Stone Coat's uh, channel, that'll be linked in the, in the description. Check out ATD, check out Clara Lawrence, check out Jen, check out Tammy, Amy Anderson, check out all of the people. I will put a bunch of people in there who have meant something to me and helped me become who I am. Thank you and have a great day in Bad Bunny Art. Hopping at you later.